Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay. And I'm so delighted that you clicked on this video today. Please leave me a like, a comment. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you here. So I've been away for a while and I apologize. And I was gonna do this project for the um, February recreation um, collaboration. But um, like I told you guys that I had a death in the family. I lost someone so dear to me. I still can't believe it. And I just couldn't get, get anything together. So I'm going to do it right now in this little video here. This was going to be a DIY that I saw craft away with May. She made um, something like this on her channel where she made a sign for her uh, for her kitchen or I don't know whose kitchen but she used the pizza pan from Dollar Tree and then she um, and she attached the spoons or the spatula to it and she said on there she had written something like baking spirits bright or something to that effect I can't really remember right now but um, I'm gonna link her channel below so that you guys can go and check out her fabulous DIYs that she does but what I did was I just roughed up this little pizza pan and I'm adding some plaster paint by Waverly and what I'm gonna do with the spoon and the the I believe I have a spoon and a spatula because I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for so I had to settle for this I'm gonna paint them with the same plaster paint and then I'm gonna add just a small bit of the um, antique wax to make it look you know just a little bit more aged and worn and I'm gonna do that on the pizza pan also and what you do is you take refrigerator you take magnets and you adhere it to the um your pizza pan so that you can switch it out switch things out if you chose to um, for different seasons and you'll see when I make some other magnets what I'm talking about so here I'm just taking my antique wax and I'm just going to add it lightly with a dry brush around and around and all around just to give it a little bit more dimension and character when you look at this and then I'm not gonna use um first I was gonna use some lettering from Dollar Tree but um, my sister gave me these nice little letters they almost look like they're quilted looking letters like the patterns on them and I'm gonna use that to just say something like baking makes me happy <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do and as you can see here I'm all done with the pizza pan and now I'm adding the antique wax to the spatula and I, I add it to the spoon and then we're gonna move on to our next step thank you guys for um, being patient with me you know things happen in life just so unexpected and you know I just didn't know what to think or do and I wanted to get videos out and I wanted to you know just keep going but I just had to focus and get my mind you know clear and I appreciate all of you thank you if you're watching this video thank you so much for even watching it I know it's been a long time but um it is what it is but I appreciate you guys so so very much you just don't know. <laughs> Okay, so next I didn't paint the handles of my spoon and spatula, but I am going to use some jute cord. I just added a little bit of hot glue at the beginning just so it will stick, and then I just wrap it around and around and around, and maybe in different areas. I can't remember if I did or not. I just will add a dibble of hot glue, but I'm just going to go around and around the handle of the spatula and the spoon, and it kind of gives it more like a farmhouse look when I do this and I kind of like that and this is what it looks like when I um, got done with it so here are both of them all done and then you know I have this pearl ribbon from Dollar Tree I'm going to cut it um, a loose because it's in like four to or five strips I'm gonna cut each little pearl a loose and guys I'm f recording in my dirty little craft room <laughs> and my daughters are right outside in the bathroom putting on makeup so they're really loud so if you hear them I apologize <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline my little spatula with the pearls and I'm gonna do the same thing with the spoon and I'm also gonna outline the um, the pie pan the pie pizza pan with the same little pearls so it will look like a complete set so that's what i'm going to do here and then we're going to move on to our next step
and here we are with the pizza pan I'm gonna go around adding a little hot glue and adding the pearl ribbon just one strip of the pearls just one all the way around on the edge Okay, so now I want to, um, I, it, I glued together my spatula and spoon with some hot glue right there where they touch when I crisscross them. So now I'm gonna take some ribbon and I'm going to make a bow for the center of it just to make it look more farmhouse, you know? And there were many ways that I could have done the bow. I could have just made like a little loose um, bow where the ribbons aren't tight but they're just all frayed out I could have done that but I didn't then I tried to tie the bow like a shoe shoelace bow I didn't like how that looked so then I just ended up <clears throat> hot gluing ribbon around and then making a separate bow and hot gluing it to the spoon and spatula And I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get my bow in order so it will fit properly on top of my spatula. And that's what I was doing off the camera, out of the frame rather. <laughs> And then I had the idea of adding these little Dollar Tree um, flowers that I got from Crafter Square. They come in different colors, but I was going to add a white one. But then I changed my mind. It didn't need that. So I just nixed that idea. <laughs> So now I'm just taking um, the, the pizza pan and the spoons and I wanna see what's the best way to, um, what's the best spot to attach it in because I'm eventually gonna have a hanger on this and it's gonna hang, you know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure that I had it in a spot where it was the top and it was not going to um, be in the way of the other stuff that I'm gonna add to it. So here I am, I'm getting my magnets that I got from Dollar Tree, and I just wanna see where the spoon is touching on my um, pizza pan so that I can put hot glue these on in the right spot. That's, that's all I'm doing here. So I was just making sure that I had it in the right spot, and there I'm gonna add it. And I eventually I had to add another one. I added two, and then eventually I had to go back and put um, another one. Okay guys, I got a nice package in the mail from May. She sent me these nice, this nice little silicone, um, what do you call it? Mold. And it, you can make donuts and little cookies. And then these are cookie cutters that she sent. I love them because one of them is a bunny, one's a little bread, one is a teacup, and one looks like it was a little bear. I love it and I love it I love it and I am going to use those to make the magnets out of clay to put on our pizza pan I'm gonna make some donuts I thought I was gonna use that to make donuts but do you guys want to know what my clay 
um, I couldn't get it out properly and I wanted to hurry and get done. So I nixed the donut idea, but I did make donuts, but I just made them freehand. But these are the three cookie cutters that I'm going to use to make some other magnets and they are going to be so very cute. <laughs> And the thing I had done was I started with foam clay. Foam clay is a bit wet and gooey and it's just the makeup of it. That's just how it is. So I started with that and I didn't like how it was turning out. So what you're gonna see me do later is I am going to get Model Magic. Model Magic is a lot more dry, it's a lot more firm, and it's a lot easier for me doing what I was trying to do to work with so I'm going to use this little donut mold in another DIY later on and please stay tuned so that you can see the creations that I make but you know I only tried for a couple of times and I said whoa no I don't like this <laughs> let me find the model magic <laughs> So now here we are, I rolled out my clay and I made some little bunny cookies. That one was unsuccessful because I was still using this, there we are, here we are with the Model Magic. I was waiting for this clip to come in. I got my Model Magic and, and then everything was a success. <laughs> And you can see texture wise how more a little bit stiffer the model magic is and i like that about model magic i like foam clay for certain things that i do but model magic is my go-to when i want to make something out of clay it's just i just love it Okay, so here we are. Um, I made four bunnies, two bears, and two cups um, <laughs> out of the Model Magic. And now I'm going to make the donuts. And what I do is I just roll it in the ball and make the hole in the middle and then shape it. That's usually how I make um, my bigger donuts. But I am going to use that mold because I just want to do that and get it right, you know, one time. <laughs> and just 
see how cute they are because that one center section i believe you can make little cakes out of that and that is just so adorable i love it and here i am going at it again but um, i'm still just gonna do it um, the way with free handing Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint. And I'm gonna paint my little teddy bear cookies this dark brown color. I'm gonna also paint the rabbits and the teacups. I'm gonna paint um, with some pink paint. And I want it to look like there's like hot chocolate or something inside of there. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. And then I'm gonna paint the donuts and the bunny rabbit cookies in a tan color. Yeah, and I think this is Honey Brown by Deco Art. This is the one I'm gonna use um, to paint the cookies and the donuts. Okay, so now that I got everything painted, I'm gonna add a little pink to the inner ears of my bunny rabbit cookies. Um, and I'm just going around um, and with my thinner paintbrush and I'm adding the pink inside of the ears. So I'm gonna add the magnets to the back of these when they dry and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. So next I got these two bunny cutouts from Dollar Tree and I got these um, large um, like tongue depressor sticks from Walmart. I'm going to use these to make this nice little Easter bunny um, um, napkin holder. My brain's on, on fart mode right now. <laughs> A napkin holder. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add this plaster paint by Waverly to everything. And now that I got everything painted and it's completely dry, I am now going to use a little hot glue and wood glue to adhere these sticks to the side. And I think all together I use nine sticks. First I had six and then I decided I needed to close and I didn't have enough to close in the bottom. So I painted some more and added it to the bottom and you'll see that at the end how I did that. But I'm just adding a dibble of hot glue, a dibble of wood glue, and this is Dollar Tree wood glue. And I'm just adhering it to both sides of the bunny rabbit.
So here it is guys, I added three more to the bottom and then I just added a little antique wax all around the edges and on everything to make it look a little bit more farmhouse. Then now I'm going to take those flowers that I showed you earlier and I got pink ones and white ones and I'm just going to make like a little flower crown on the bottom of the bunny ears all the way across out of the pink flowers, all, all out of only the pink, I didn't use the white. So I'm going to do both sides with the flower crown and I'll show you at the end of the video. So next, have you guys seen these new trays at your Dollar Tree? I thought they were really cute. So I got three of them and I'm going to make like um, like this little standing, st this little stand and I'm just going to decorate it with little Easter novelties. So I'm just, I got these three um, like dowel rounds. Um, they were inside of this box of wood that I got. Uh, for my sister and I'm just going to use those as the, um, the the points where I place my little trays but these trays are cute because they're scalloped all around the edges they're different I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before so I was really excited when I saw them in the crafter square and I'm just using a dab of hot glue and a dab of um, wood glue just like as before and I'm just gonna hot glue that and get that all done and then I'm gonna paint it and I'll be back to show you that. And I just used the same plaster paint by Waverly to paint it. And then I know we all see this little bags of styrofoam bunnies at Dollar Tree every year. Well, I have a bag of these and I'm going to paint them these three colors. I think one of the colors is called Sea Breeze by Deco Art. It's really pretty. It reminds me of the ocean. And the other color is called Daybreak by Folk Art. And then my pink is by Deco Art and it's just called Cherry Blossom Pink. And I'm going to paint my bunnies that color i think those are some really pretty easter pastels i love it and um i will show you what i'm going to do with them shortly Here are our little bunnies all completed and I'll show you at the end how I styled them. Here we are at the end of the video. Here is our little napkin holder. These napkins I got from Dollar Tree last year um, and I just decided to place them in my little napkin holder but I think this is a nice um, way to display them. They're very pretty. Um, I love them and I love the way this little napkin holder turned out. And here is our sign and these are the letters I was talking about. I just glue them to um, my pizza pan. They say baking makes me happy and I put a little exclamation point and they're all pastel colors and I just want to show you here on the donuts how I added my, my magnet and I just used some puffy paint for the frosting. But aren't those cute? And I can just use any kind of magnet on here. I can create any kind for holidays or whatever. And here is the tray. And I just added those foam roses from Dollar Tree, some moss, and the bunnies. How cute. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out with me and sticking by me in my absence. And even reaching out to me just to make sure everything was okay. Thank you everyone who did that. I appreciate you all so much. So those loved ones that we have in our life, let's love them. Tell them that we love them. Spend time with them. And always remember, when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine.